Hello guys, welcome to Dennis Tech Tips. Here we are again in Shortcut Video Editor and in this video I am going to show you how to export your video project in Shortcut Video Editor. I have other tutorial videos on Shortcuts. You can go ahead and click on the link up here to take you to my Shortcuts tutorial playlist. I also have a beginner's tutorial on how to use Shortcuts Video Editor. If you want to see more videos like this, do well to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you. So here I am in Shortcut. Let's create a new project. To create a new project, I can head over to the project name and I can give the project a name. Let's say Shortcut Export. I then click on the Start button. Now I have a new project. Now let's import a file. To import a file, I can simply click and drag the file in Shortcut like this. So here yeah, I have this file with my desktop, so I can click and drag this in shortcuts. And right here you see it in the previous section. So right here from the previous section, I can drag it to the timeline. And here you see the file in my timeline. Or I can simply head over to my playlist. When my playlist is open, I can click and drag the file in the playlist. Or I can head over to the files menu and then click on open file. When I click on open file, I get this open dialog. So right here, I can select the file and then click on open. And here you see the file within the preview section. From here, I can either drag it to the timeline or drag it to the playlist. Now let's see how you can export a file shortcut. So let's say for example, you are done editing your video. Now let's cut some parts of this video away. So I'm going to make it shorter. Seven seconds is fine. So now that I'm done editing this video and I want to export it, I can simply head over to the export button up here. So let's say for some reasons you can't find the export button down here, or maybe you accidentally closed it up here. So if I close this down here, I can't find the export button. Now to bring back the export button, I will have to go up here and click on the export button. When I click on the export button, you see that the export panel or the export pivot is back here. So right here is where I can go ahead and export my project. But before I can click on the export file button, I will have to choose a preset for my project. So on the left hand side, I can choose a specific preset depending on what I want for my video project. So right here, the presets are in different categories. The first category I have there is stock. Now within stock, I have a bunch of presets I can choose from. Next, I have alpha, alpha category, which also has um, its own set of presets. You have audio. Now right here within audio, you can export your file in MP3 format. You also have camcorder, you have um, device category, you have intermediates, legacy, lossless, stills now within stills i can export my video or my project in jpeg format just the way this preview is right now i can export my project in jpeg format so back to the top right here i have this youtube presets now if the video you are exporting is going to be uploaded in youtube you can go ahead and select this youtube presets and your video will be in the accepted video formats of YouTube. It will be in MP4 if you have the right aspect ratio, the right resolution and the right format which is MP4. But if you are working on something of a higher profile, maybe it's not something you want to upload on YouTube, but you still want it to be in MP4 format, you can select this H.264 main profile. When you select that and you click on the export file button down here, you get this dialog. So right here, you can select the location where you want the file to be saved. So I'm going to select my desktop. You can give it a name down here within the file name. I'm going to leave the shortcut exports, which is the first name. And then you see that the file format is MP4. And then you can go ahead and click on save. Immediately you click on save. On the right hand side of the screen right here, you see the export progress as a video is being rendered. So the rendering is done right now. So I'm going to head over to my desktop where I saved the file and here it is. Now when I click on this to play, you see it right there exported. 
Now, when I go back and I and I check the properties, you see you see that it's an MP4 file type. So I'm going to close this. Let's go back to shortcut. So if I select YouTube and I click on exports, you see that it is same thing or almost the same thing. So I can select the location. The file format is in MP4. Now, when I click on, okay, let's give this a different name. Let's say export one. And when I click on save as, as you see the video has been exported again. And when the video is done, right here in my desktop, I have the exported or the rendered file. Now within the exports panel, when you click on advanced, within advanced, you can, now within advanced, you can change the file settings. Right here within video, you can change the resolution. You can change the aspect ratio. You can change the frame per second, the scan mode, and a lot of other things down here. You have within codec, you can also play with the settings down there. You can play with the audio settings and you have other settings up here. So if you really know what you are doing, you can work with this. Up here within the format, you can change the file formats. You have a bunch of different options down here. You can choose from. So that's it. So I'm going to click on MP4. That's what I want. So when you are done, you can go ahead and click on the export file button up here. So that is it, guys. That is how to export your video in Shortcut Video Editor. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and also support this channel by subscribing. Turn on post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.